Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and have a good day. So for today lecture, I will share with you how to design continuous one-way slab. So given here the structure layout plan of the building that I'm going to design. So in my case here, I'm going to design slab 13BF, 13BF. This slab have four bay or four connecting continuous one-way slab and two connecting two-way slab. Okay. So given here, okay, the data that we are going to use in order for us to design the slab. How do we know that this slab is actually one-way slab? So by calculating the LY over LX ratio equal to 6050 over 2750, the answer is 2.2, which is bigger than 2. Therefore, the slab is a one-way slab. So the first step is, as usual, we have to calculate the nominal cover. So the nominal cover is important for us to protect the reinforcement from any other uh, exposure. For example, exposure to the environment because it may affect the performance or reduce the strength of the steel reinforcement because steel can easily to be corroded when it is exposed to the environment. Okay. So, in order for us to calculate the C nominal, as usual, we have to calculate C nominal is equal to C minimum plus C deviation. So, we have to determine the C minimum based on the three conditions. The first one is due to the fire resistance. Second one due to the bond. The third one is due to the exposure condition. So, we go through one by one due to the fire resistance. C minimum is equal to alpha minus diameter bar over 2. So value alpha is come from table 5.8 for one way slab with REI is equal to 1.5 hours. Therefore, the alpha is equal to 30. That's why the C minimum is 25 millimeter. Due to the bond requirement is referred to table 4.2, the C minimum B is equal to 10 millimeter, which is equal to diameter bar. And then due to the exposure condition, the C minimum durability is referred to table 4.3N or N table 4.4N. That's why the answer of C minimum durability is equal to 10 millimeter. So from these three value, I have to compare which one is the maximum C minimum. In my case here, the maximum C minimum is due to the fire resistance, which is 25 millimeter. Therefore, the C nominal is equal to 25 millimeter plus 10, which is C, uh, C deviation. Therefore, the C nominal is equal to 35 millimeter. Next is the design action. So on the design action, we have to calculate two, which is permanent action and also variable action. So due to the permanent action, there is a self weight of the slab finishes. So if you have an additional load that is acting on top of the slab, for example, additional machinery or additional that fits to the, uh, to the slab, and then additional shilling and services and so on you may add. Therefore, in my case here, the total permanent action is equal to 4 kN per meter square. The total variable action is 3.5 kN. Then we factorize the load. Therefore, the answer is 10.65 kN per meter square. Then, as usual, when we would like to design a slab, we have to design per meter length. Therefore, the answer here, the design action N, we have to time with 1 meter width, which is and equal to 0 0.65 kN per meter. Next process is we have to draw the shear force and also bending moment. In order for you to draw the shear force and bending moment for one-way continuous slab, you have to refer to table 3.12 in your design appendix or in your euro code. So this table is adopted from the British standard before this. So it is the same table what we use in our Euro code too. So the first one that you have to know is you have to know the end condition or support condition of the slab. So in my case here, at the end support here is actually continuous end because it is connecting with another two-way slab here. And then here will be our simply supported end. So that's why the value of the shear force here and here is different. So for the continuous end is, is, is equal to 0 0.46F. So here is the uh, the first internal sub, first sub, first support 0 0.6 f. Here is the first internal support 0 0.5 f. Okay, here for the n uh, n support with simply supported equal to 0 0.4 f. Here is the first support 0 0.6 f. Then here is the interior support. 
Okay, for the bending moment here, so for the N with a continuous N 0 0.04 FL for the uh, simply supported is equal to 0. For the near middle of N span is equal to 0 0.075 and then for the near middle of N span for con discontinuous or simply supported is 0 0.086. So here is the first interior support, the here are the left is interior span okay so f is equal to wl so f is equal to wl w is equal to 0 0.65 kilonewton per meter our l is use lx not ly please be careful okay then we have to calculate our shear force uh, by substituting this value f is equal to wl here which is 29.29 then we get all the answer here so for the bending moment is fl so F is WL, and then we have to time with another LX here. So you will get your bending moment. If you are confusing what are the value that you are going to times or going to use in the calculation, you have to make sure the unit here that you get is correct. Because here the unit is kilonewton, okay? And then to get the bending moment, you have to time with another LX, then you will get the kilonewton meter. Okay, so then we have to design the main reinforcement. The first step, we have to calculate the effective depth. D is equal to H minus C nominal minus diameter bar over 2. So we'll get the answer 110. Next is calculating the AS minimum and AS maximum. Please be careful. The B here that you have to use in your AS minimum is 1000 millimeter. D is your D here. And then you have to compare with 0 0.013 BD. And then your AS maximum is equal to 0 0.04 AC. AC is equal to B times H, which is therefore the answer here is 6,000 millimeter squared. Then you provide the secondary bar H8 300 center to center. I allow you to use H8 for the secondary bar. So it is a normal practice that we use in our design office. Okay, so in designing the main reinforcement you have to calculate the main reinforcement or design the main reinforcement at each uh, moment okay so the first one is the, at the near middle of n span with the moment of 0 0.075 fl 6.04 kilonewton meter okay and then you get the the answer here okay so the answer here, I provide here H10 300 center to center. You have to make sure your D here you use is 1000. Your B here is 1000. Then your D is 110. Okay, you have to make sure that your answer is uh, compression reinforcement is not required. So it's really seldom that uh, the, the slab will have a doubly reinforced. Okay, so you have to make sure the value that you provide here is in between AS minimum and AS maximum. You have to repeat the same process again for another moment, which is interior support and interior span here. The value is same. That's why I design it only once because the value is same. And then continuous outer support. Okay. Continuous outer support. Okay. And then first interior support for... Uh, First interior support, okay, and this value is also same for the simply supported near middle of N span, okay, and then design the shear reinforcement here. So design the shear reinforcement here. So as usual, you have to determine your VD based on your shear force diagram. So you'll get the maximum value here. So you calculate your K and rho Y. So if your K is more than two, you have to use K is equal to two. So I've got the VRDC here is fifty point eight five. V min here 59.64. So we have to choose either VRDC or V min to compare with VED. So in my case here, the maximum one is V minimum. So it's supposed to be here. It's not VRDC. It's supposed to be V minimum. So it, this is a typo. So VED is less than V minimum. Then the result is okay. And then deflection check. So the deflection check, we have to calculate L over the basic, L over the A allowable and L over the actual. So we have to determine rho in order for us to compare with rho naught. So it's supposed to be here. The answer is rho is less than rho naught. Okay. So it means that rho naught is bigger than rho. So this is also the sign convention, uh, the, the sign typo. So the equation is still same, which is equation 7.16a. Then I'll the k value here is referred to 7. 
table 7.4n because it is n span with a continuous that's why i use k is equal to 1.3 so i'll get the answer l over d basic is equal to 217.81 then we calculate the l over the allowable l over the actual then the answer here is less than l over the allowable l actual is less than l over the allowable therefore the deflection check is passed Okay, for cracking check, we have to check based on three conditions. The first one due to the thickness, second one due to the main bar, the third one due to the secondary bar. So the thickness is H minus is less than 200 millimeter. The main bar is 3H less than 400 millimeter. Therefore, the actual one we provide is based on our main reinforcement here. Okay, here the actual one we provide are based on our secondary reinforcement here. Here are the detailing of the one-way continuous slab. Okay, so it is a bit complicated, but you try to understand it by using this, di this diagram. So if you can understand, so you may refer how to draw it in other YouTube channel in order for you to really understand how to draw. So you have to know which one is the main reinforcement, which one is the secondary reinforcement. So all the reinforcement here is h 10 300 center to center okay so if you add additional uh main secondary reinforcement it will be h 8 300 center to center so i hope that all of you understand this example in order for you to continue this lesson so with that i would like to end my lecture with thank you